I wanna show you how I increase the amount of money that people spend on my Shopify store by using four strategies to increase your average order value. Now these are the same strategies that I use on my store and I've been able to increase my average order value by $35 on every order over the last few months just by implementing these. These are the same strategies that the big brands use and you're gonna recognize and you're gonna be able to now implement them into your store. But first, who am I? Well, my name is Brendan and I've been working in e-commerce for over 10 years, working with some massive global brands and I now run my own online businesses that are doing more than a million dollars a year. I also work with entrepreneurs who run their own e-commerce businesses and help them scale to a million dollars a year. Now I drop videos just like this all the time. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment down below what you liked and I'll make more like this. Now let's get started on increasing your average order value. Now, as I said, there's four strategies. Strategy number one is what we call the passive upsell. This is what we call a passive upsell here. Now, as you can see on this store, they sell boxing gloves, by the way, this is my store. We're not actually asking people to buy something. All we're wanting to do is show them products that complement the product that they're looking at. It's like a subconscious message to say, you know what, you might also want this. We tend to put this underneath the add to cart button. So it's right where they're just about to make a purchase and it gives them an incentive to buy as well. This is a little bit like when you're going to a supermarket and there's candy on the checkout aisle. Just as you go to purchase, they put it there and it tries to tempt you to buy some more. It's not actually putting it in your face, but it's subconsciously telling you that you might wanna buy this. It's called a passive upsell. Here's another example of a store and this is Nomad Goods. These are a great store and they do amazing e-commerce. So if you want some tips, go to Nomad. Now here they do a very similar thing and these products complement what it is that people are buying. Now the thing here that's really interesting is the value of the products that they're upselling. They are quite small. Now we're not asking someone to spend hundreds of dollars when they're buying something. We're just asking to spend a little bit more for a product that complements what it is they're already looking at. Now strategy number two is what we call the action upsell. Now this is an upsell that we implement when someone shows intent to buy something. We like to trigger it when someone clicks the add to cart button. Now I like to call this the would you like fries with that method. Think about when you go into a McDonald's or other sort of burger chain and you go in and you just ask for one burger and you show intent to buy it. What does the person behind the counter say? Would you like fries with that? Now we want to use that exact same strategy on our e-commerce store. And this is how some brands do it. So when the add to cart is clicked, this is what pops up. It shows them products that again, aren't overly expensive, but they complement the product that the person is buying. So in this instance, someone's buying boxing gloves and they're going to need to have hand wraps or shorts if they're doing kickboxing or what other sort of boxing, they're gonna need shorts. So we're adding that on, it complements the product that they're buying. Now let's take a look at another store. This store here sells pet training equipment. Now they put upsells in place as well for items that help train your pet. So if we go into this, we can see that we've got some sort of bark spray, we've got some remote collars, and we've also got some treats. But what's cool here is that we just have a quick add this button. So we make sure that the buying decision and the friction is easy. They've already decided to buy one product, let's make it easy for them to add the other product into the cart. Strategy number three is called the in-cart upsell. Now this is the upsell that happens when they're in the cart. And the idea about doing this is, is they're just about to buy the item and we say, well, let's put some more things in your basket. And usually these are complementary to what they've got in the cart. So if we think about the previous strategy, they're complementary to the product they're looking at. But let's just say they buy multiple items. There might be some other items that go well with what they're buying. So we wanna show that to them just before they're about to spend their money. Let me show you some stores that are doing it really well. So this is Pure Vita. These guys are great at D2C e-commerce as well. You can see what they're doing in their cart here is if someone's buying this tiny heart choker, we're offering small products. We're offering a little necklace clasp, a mystery bracelet, a mystery pack. The cool thing about this is these are also really low value items. We like to think of these as impulse purchases. If you're already spending money with the store and you're making a commitment and that commitment is shown by hitting the cart, you're more likely to buy more things if they're not too much more expensive. Let's just think you've got in mind that you wanna spend $50 on a store. You found your $50 product. You're not going to spend $100 if you had in mind you were gonna spend $50, but you may spend 60 or you may spend 65. So throwing small products into the end is a way just to stretch the AOV just that little bit. And we like to do that in the cart. Strategy number four is what we call the post-purchase upsell. Now these are killer because what this means is that people have already made a purchase with you and we're asking if they wanna buy more after they've spent money with you, okay? The whole concept behind this is that if someone's made a purchase with you, they're in a positive state of mind. They're in a transactional state of mind and it's not that hard to get them to spend that little bit more if they've already transacted with you. So post-purchase upsells are awesome. Let me give you an example of how this works. So on this 
this store here, they sell color pods. Color pods are colorful ear pods. This is also one of my stores. And what we do here is if you buy a pair of color pods from us and you get to the checkout, you buy them, we might offer you another pair of color pods for 50% off. Now, why would we do that? Well, it depends on our cost of goods, our margins and everything like that. But if we can get two items being sold in the one order, it saves us on lots of things. It means our acquisition cost goes down. It means our shipping costs remain the same and it means our margins increase over time. So while we might lose margin in the discount of the product, we make it up because we're not spending money on the ads and we're not spending money on the shipping. It's a really powerful strategy. Let me give you another example. This brand here adds a travel toothpaste. So they're not adding the same product again. They're offering another product that might be useful for this person. Imagine you travel a lot. You like their toothpaste. You don't want to take the big tube. You're going to take the travel toothpaste. So they're complementing the product that someone has purchased with another product that works really well with it. This works exceptionally well in cosmetics. So if you're selling skincare, offer another skincare or something that complements that skincare at a discount offer. Now, how do you do this on your store? Well, there's a lot of Shopify apps you can use. I'm gonna list a couple down below that you can use. But before you do that, you need to think about your strategy and what it is that you're gonna upsell. So what I've done is I've put together a little workbook that helps you trigger your thoughts on the types of upsells you should do on your store. We shouldn't just be upselling anything. We should be really strategic on the items that we upsell. So I've developed this workbook Book, which is called the AOV Accelerator. And I've broken up into the four key strategies. Now these strategies are the on-page upsells, the action upsells, the cart upsells, and the post-purchase upsells. And the way I want you to fill this workbook out is quite simple. What we do is we have something which we call our trigger product. So let's just say our trigger product is sneakers. I'm gonna put down sneakers here. Now with an on-page upsell, I want you to think about it like meals when you go to a burger shop. You get a small, a medium, or a large. And usually they increase as a percentage of value of what people are spending. Now think about that in your store. For your trigger product, what upsells could you be that help this order be small, medium, or large? So small might be laces. Medium might be socks. And large could be something like leather cleaner. Now I do apologize for my writing, it's pretty messy, but I think you're taking in what I'm putting down. And then what I want you to do is put the price of these things. So this might be 10, this might be 15, this might be 20, okay? Now these are the small add-ons that we put in there. So these are called passive upsells. And I want you to do the same thing with the next ones. So the next ones are our action upsells. Now we like to think of these as must-haves. So as a store owner, you're going to need to suggest products that that person must have if they're buying that product. So if you're buying a pair of running trainers, you probably need some sort of deodorizer to make them not stink, or you need something to help them be cleaned. So this is things that you need to have to make the use of that product go longer. So these are called the must haves and are great for action upsells. So in this upsell, it would be something like goes well with a deodorizer, shoe cleaner, And then we do the same thing. We put the value in there. So a deodorizer might be a little bit more expensive and then the shoe cleaner would also be expensive. And now we look at cart upsells. I want you to do the same thing for this exact same trigger product. So a cart upsell could be a quick ad. It doesn't need to be complimentary so much to that exact product, but it might be within the range of products. So an impulse purchase might be something like socks, or it could even be something like a key ring or something branded like a t-shirt. If someone's buying from a brand that they really like, they sometimes like the merchandise for that. So you could use that as an impulse purchase at the end. So your socks might be something like $20. Key ring might be 10. And you can see what's happening here. These are creating impulse purchase for someone to buy when they're in that stage of checkout. Now the final one is the post purchase. And this is the one after someone has already bought from you. So how do we put an offer out to them that's irresistible? So I want you to think about this as a special deal and we call it the just for you deal. So this might be something like 25% off your next pair or a second pair. It could be a huge deal on something else, you know, 30% off. Now we like these offers to be deals. We want them to feel special. We like them to be time bound and we want to make them feel like they have to get it and the deal is personalized just for them. There's no point putting something there that they're not going to be interested in. They've spent money with you and we want them to spend just that little bit more with you. So I hope you've learned something today. Remember there's four strategies, passive upsells, action upsells, in cart and post purchase. If you implement all of these into your store, 
using the workbook and the strategy that I've just told you, you're gonna see your average order value increase. Now, if you want more tips like this, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what you liked, and I'll drop you some more videos.